Fate weavers look at the great tapestry of fate. The threads will tell us how a life will unfold. But knowing the future and being able to change it are two very different things. Trust me, I've known that for a long time. Nobody can change fate. Poor old Fomidus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. It's a shame. He'll be dead by now. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but Hughes' success would come on the day of his death. He took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. I suppose I could spare a little help, in memory of Hughes, or in celebration of his success. Whichever. You really don't know much, do you? A Fate Weaver taps into the threads of fate and channels that energy through a focus. My order prefers cards. The cards are unique to each Fate Weaver, since we all see the weave differently. You! You're the one! Then that means... it all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Grave Digger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. What are you? The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? Hughes may have brought you back to life. But that was still part of fate's plan. Nothing short of a god can do what you did. Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. It's a gift. Some people paint landscapes. Other people write poetry. I peer into the weave of fate's tapestry and see people's deaths. That would be my guess. 
He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan, unlike most gnomes. Alright, so the reason I'm fighting this way is just because it would be too boring if it was just hack and slash. Um, I got locked into some combos and couldn't roll out though. I wasn't expecting that. It's just going to take some time to figure out how to fight this way and still get away with it. But by that time I'll probably actually have some real fighting mechanics to work with so it won't be the same old crap over and over again. Well, technically it probably will be, but whatever. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much... Fate's weave is always hard to see. It's in motion, hard to make out, but undeniably there. Yours is just... missing. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it. Then your path is yours to determine.
I can see the threads around you. But they're shifting, changing so rapidly, I can't make sense of them. Normally the threads would guide my hand to the cards, and I'd use those cards to see your pattern in the weave. But it just didn't happen. They wouldn't focus. So either there's something wrong with me, and there isn't, or there's something very wrong with you. It could mean nothing, or it could mean everything. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that, or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings, but we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. Hughes was always an odd one. Curious and determined as any of his kind, sure. He never shut up about his work. But he always knew what was important. He didn't worry about dying as long as he knew he'd get the well working. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one, but that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yolven. I'll meet you there. What could this all mean? Still here, huh? Can't quite decide if you want to hear what the cards say, can you? What could this all mean? Of all the songs in halls of lore, there echoes none more grand than Olain's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day.
Very nice. Very nice indeed. Everyone just stand back. The warden can't work when you're crowding so close. Oh, go back to your business. Go on. Hello. Oh, hey there. Keep moving. This business doesn't concern oh. you. Unless you're an expert scholar on the Fey, I'd suggest you move along. No reason to be out in the open with oh. the Red Legion about. Bandits, but no ordinary bandits. Surely oh. you've heard of Red the Dead Edward. They say he drinks oh. the blood of his captives, that he consumes their souls. Or perhaps those are just rumors. Oh. You should be fine if you stay inside the village. Once you go beyond the boundaries of Gorhart, however, oh. your life is in your hands. Oh. I don't know if you noticed, but St. Odwig's mission closed its gate moments before that Fae's body turned up on the road. I don't like what that suggests. Oh. Not at all. The brothers of St. Odwig's are an odd oh. sort, scurrying back and forth across the mission like squirrels gathering nuts. I wonder what goes on behind those closed doors. Oh. Oh. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever uh. anyone's savage like this. Uh. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't oh. deserve this. We keep a precarious peace with the Court of Summer, one that's tested oh. every day. I lie awake at night worrying what kind of disaster awaits me in the morning. Oh. But we're a good community full of good people. We have our eccentrics, sure, uh. but we work hard and live quietly. That's the best anyone can do these days. Peaceful Fey make up the tribe known as the Court of Summer. Oh. They are led by a king in a faraway city, hidden from mortal eyes. That's about all I know. Oh. Little more than rumors and stories from my youth. Oh. I'm the Warden of Gorhart, and a poor one at that. I've been back from the war for only six months and been Warden for less than two. Oh. Now here I am with an injured Fey on my doorstep. I'm a disgrace. Oh. Our fate rests in the hands of a few chosen who fight in the East. Oh. You wouldn't even know it in Gorhart. We're miles away from the smoke and the screams. Oh. I've seen many bandit clans in the Crystal War and back home. But these men are a particular oh. breed. They're like the victims weak and bloody. Oh. The Red Legion has been a presence in the area for several weeks now. Our people are scared to show their faces after dark. They're a wicked breed, though. Gorhart has become a sort of refuge. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a fae. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Uh. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. Oh. It's difficult to say. We've been plagued by the uh, Red Legion oh. for days. But it's not their way to go after the Fae in the area. They like their targets mortal. Oh. In case you haven't heard, there have been some Tuatha sighting in the woods to the west. So that's also a possibility. It's unlikely, though. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I'm a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a Fae will know how to heal a Fae. If not, then we're back where we started. She spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. 
She doesn't think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly are. Oh. Bye now. Hello. They say Agna Farhall is haunted. Haunted by Red Legion bandits, I say. That old ruin is the perfect hideout. Have you seen Brother Egan around? He was a frequent visitor to the inn, but I haven't seen him in days. I'm not accustomed to all of this excitement. It was difficult enough to adjust life during wartime. Now we have to be on our guard for Tuatha right here in our own home. What is this world coming to? Tuatha's madness infected. My experience is limited to Arnik Arduna and Katrin Orway. They seem the same as any of the rest of us. Wiser, perhaps, but... Decent, hard-working folk. I'm hardly a scholar, but I can tell you what I know. There are two Fey factions, the gentle Court of Summer and its coarser cousin, the Court of Winter. As a child, we were told stories of their ancient rivalry. These are surely myths, but enough to scare a young girl. In the last few years, the Court of Winter has fallen, corrupted by a group of powerful Fey called the Tuatha. It's the Tuatha we fight, and the Tuatha we will defeat. It's my understanding that they were... It's strange. Those old birds have been perched on that hill for as long as I can remember, staring down over the rest of us in the village like hawks. I know so little about them. I don't even know their names. Perhaps they view us as a... I was a miller's love who became a miller's wife. Now I am the wife of a soldier. My duty is to hold vigil for my beloved and for all our men on the lines. I was born and raised right here in the village. Well, not... It was a good life. Before the war, of course. Goodbye.
Are you content to live among the lives of the mission? They look down their eyes at you. They laugh at your ignorance. Mitharu does not dwell behind the mission's walls, no. She is in every rock and every tree, every bud and every storm. She is with all of us. Whatever you do, avoid the monks of St. Odwig's Perpetual. They deal in lies and false tenets. Their light of hope will leave you in shadow. It is the name I chose when I baptized myself in the clear waters of Matharu. I have undergone the ordination rites, and am as legitimate as any monk. Father Dinwell will try to defend his cause, but he is simply a soldier, marching to the orders past... He would be a good man if he could see past the rigidity of his faith. Mitharu embraces all, not simply those that the Church deems worthy. If such creatures were not... She was wronged by someone in this village. That is an injustice I can understand. By its appearance, you'd assume Gorhart is a pleasant place. Never make assumptions. I'm ready for this damn war to be over. I'm ready for our boys in the no! Where is the order that Nathan has given us? I see no order in this fucking truth. That is chaos! That is what the mission fears! The bricks of St. Odwig's will. Nothing to see back here. Just a man working for his pay. We in Gorhart like to stay focused on our business. That way the face stay focused on theirs. Gorhart is an... If there was ever a reason to believe that Fey and Mortal... The Alpha fight without any true knowledge of the enemy they face. I've seen this... Those fools in that mission on the hill... Suits my needs just fine. It's remote, away from the shadows of the crystal wall. It's also quiet. Most of the time. I'd rather not talk about it. My past is a murky place. It's better not to enter unless you wish to get lost there. Their goal is to convince the Fey of their folly. But one cannot reason with the sunrise, ask the wind to cease its chill. You should speak with them if you haven't already. They are a sorry lot, and their numbers dwindle. Men forsake their faith and disappear into the woods, or worse. What do you know of the Red Legion? Whatever it is, forget it. You'll be safer, wiser, and better off in the end. Ignorance is bliss, my friend. Welcome to Gorhart. Did you see the war sworn at the inn? I wonder if he's trying to find new hirelings. Maybe I should volunteer.
Stay indoors after sundown. I've thought about searching for treasure in that nearby Arathi ruin, Agno Farhol, but they say it's overrun with dark spirits. Believe me, the attack has me spooked. I'm not even a proper warden, just a volunteer. I'll stick to jail duty. At least there, the criminals are behind locked doors. My cousin is Herc Adwald, the village warden. You might have met him. Herc asked me to move to Gorhar to help him keep the peace. I've only been here a few days, and look what I'm up against. Red Legion, two author, and bodies lying in the road. I'm off to a grand start. It's the other fae. Are you playing a trick on me? We're going on ten years of the mortals and the Tuatha locked in a deadly embrace. Normally I'd decry the bloodshed, but this is a conflict that we cannot afford to lose. Humans and immortals cannot live. I believe the stories, friend. The Tuatha are mad. They have been... Our guests aren't the wickedest breed you'll find in these forests, but they're bad enough to earn a spot in my collection. Stay clear. That's an order. I can understand why these people are scared. Not only do they live in the Hello shadow there. of the... The post in Gorhart would be an easy one if not for all the thieves and murderers. <laughs> after sundown. What do you want?
welcome. Talk, Herc doesn't like. 